Hi there, GoodNotes has recently released the brand new version, GoodNotes 6, with some new features. They've redesigned the UI. It's not much a bit difference. I'll walk you through the UI difference between GoodNotes 5 and GoodNotes 6, and I'll show you the new features as well. Basically, all the existing features of GoodNotes 5 are available for GoodNotes 6. Let's look at the main screen. As you can see, now we have Documents, Favorites, search and share on the sidebar in GoodNotes 6 as opposed to at the bottom in GoodNotes 5. And you can click the sidebar icon here to hide the sidebar if you like. Okay, let's open the document. As you can see, the toolbar looks kind of different now, but the main features are basically the same. One thing I do want to point out is that the button for toggling between write and read mode in GoodNotes 5 is now at the top center here in GoodNotes 6. So if you navigate documents with hyperlinks like Digital Planner, make sure you click the pen icon here to hide the toolbar. Another difference you may want to take notice of is the typing mode, which is at the top center in GoodNotes 6 now. Okay, let me show you the new features one by one. Feature number one, customize the folder with color and icon. Let's create a new folder. Choose the color. Choose an icon for it. You can also change the color and icon for the existing folder. If you want to remove the icon, just choose the backslash icon at last. Feature number two, color templates and cover. Let's create a new notebook using the plus button here and click on the paper color. Now we can customize the paper template by changing the background color and foreground color. The foreground color refers to the paper style. As in this example, I'm working on a ruled paper. So the foreground color refers to the color of the lines. We can also customize the cover as well. It was similar to how we customized the paper template as we just did. Feature number three, scribble to erase. We can now use the pen tool to erase notes, just like we cross some mistakes with the pencil. So simply scribble over the notes you want to erase. This not just works on words, but also on shapes and highlighters as well. If you just want to erase words only, you can go to pen gestures and turn off erase shapes and highlighters. Feature number four, circle to lasso. Here's how it works. Use the pen tool to select the notes you want to select, like you do with the lasso tool. Tap and hold the circle. It will turn into a lasso, and you can move or resize like you would normally do with the lasso tool. Feature number five, handwriting word complete. It will finish your last word if you write enough letters. For example, I'm going to write this with the last word unfinished. You'll see a red dotted line underneath. Tap the word. It will pop up a few suggested words for you to choose from. Feature number six, spell check. If you have misspelled something, you will see a red dotted line underneath the word. Tap the word and you'll see a few suggested words for you to correct your spelling. Feature number seven, math conversion. It will turn your handwritten equations into a typeset equation. Feature number eight, interactive exam practice. It's like a library where students can find resources to help them prepare for exams. You can find them under the education tab in the marketplace. Feature number nine, AI math assistance. It works with the interactive exam practice. It will supposedly check your handwritten math equations and flag it if there's an error. Feature number 10, AI typing mode. The idea is that this new tool can fix grammar and spelling 
paraphrase, change tone, make longer or shorter of your type notes. Here's an Instagram post I recently wrote. What you need to do is to select the whole text and click on the star icon here and it will give you these options to improve your notes. I tried with this Insta post but the AI tool doesn't seem to work very well for me. Maybe because it is an experimental feature and they're still working to improve it. Honestly, I feel chat GPT was a lot better than this. Okay, let's wrap it up with the pricing for GoodNotes 6. Unfortunately, it is not a free upgrade to the existing GoodNotes 5 paid users. It offers two options, subscription and one-time purchase. I personally do like some of the new features such as the scribble to erase and color templates. But as I mainly use GoodNotes for digital planning, GoodNotes 5 seems to suffice my needs. The good thing is, as an existing GoodNotes 5 paid user, you can always switch between 5 and 6. I was excited to see they made GoodNotes 6 available for Windows and Android as well. However, I was kind of disappointed to find that hyperlinks do not seem to work in the Windows version, which is an essential feature required for digital planners. For Android, the user experience is honestly not as good as the Apple version. Hopefully, they will make it better for Windows and Android in the future. It would be really nice to see the app work seamlessly between multiple platforms. I'd be definitely happy to pay for a subscription then. Let me know in the comments what you think about the new version of GoodNotes and whether you would upgrade it or not.